Uh, why is there an old spirit tree right here? Is there any functionality on it? No. Why is there a spirit tree next to the Grand Exchange? Right, no. No, this is where the Grand Exchange goes. Okay. Welcome back to Runex. I'm just running around free to play, hunting for spirits. And, um, found that thing. Uh, wait. Oh, it, it was blocked off by, like, a normal tree. I was like, wait, did it just change color? Um, right, that's where you fight Lucian. Okay, I know where I am. <laughs> this is a strange experience. Running around free-to-play sometimes. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going around and doing the event. Uh, if I do home... Oh, that's the market. Okay. Uh, catching implings and doing the spirits. Yeah, you do not get a lot of tokens from doing it. Um, I do want to point out that we do have global rewards if you do 15 rolls. And oh. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to have to grind it proper events, uh, but we're up to 16 ghoul bones, and it is, I want to say, 50 for a set. Yeah, so I need 150 there. Spooky land. Uh, I don't think the spooky set is worth it. What? What the crap? It has stats? The spooky set has stats? Man, this is weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually be focusing on grinding the event. I'm not actually going to do a lot of event clips until I have multiple rolls ready. Um, so that's going to be slightly different. Huh. I never seen this building before either. This is where the party room goes in like OSRS and RS3, but I've never seen this house. Is this like actual no, this is there's no way this is actually in the old version before the party room because these doors are there instead of walls. That is weird. I keep discovering these weird things in obscure corners because I'm doing the event. Also, apparently catching implings actually gets you tokens. I don't know if that was a hot fix or what, because I don't think it was happening before, but uh, yeah, that's really nice. I also, while I'm early in the video, want to mention something that I normally only really bring up at the end of a video. Um, if you want to see or hear more of me playing stuff, I do have a Let's Play channel that I link in the description of most videos. Um, I sometimes forget. Um, so, I have the Let's Play channel, I have a Twitch channel, I also have a pa uh, Patreon. I don't have any real rewards other than just, hey, you're a cool dude for sending some cash my way. Um partially because I don't really have artistic skill or anything, so I can't, like, come up with cool credit sequences or anything, like I know one Let's Player does uh, that I follow. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and, as they say, pimp my channels early on when people are still watching the video. Hey, alright, I got dogs barking next door because I have the window open, but um, got the Trident of the Sea, so that is one of the three items down on the Kraken Log, and alright, so just Tentacle and Pet, which should not actually take that long. Also, coincidentally, bossing started right before I got that. Nice. I figure I'll roll every time I have 10,000 tokens, so I at least get two rolls at a time. Let's see. Ooh! Ooh, I got the Halloween mystery box. Let's see. Get anything cool from that? I got a master 
Task Bottle. I did get the Gravestone Tonic though, which turns me into a grave. So there's, uh, <laughs> there's that. Uh, task Bottle is not terribly exciting and probably the least exciting thing I possibly could have gotten from that, but... It's something. Um, yeah, that can go in the trophy tab. Why not? Since when do Anku drop blood money? That makes this daily even better to do. Yikes. I have an elite to do 15 daily money making activities is why I'm doing the experiment daily. Although the crystal keys are also nice, but uh, I thought it would be amusing to know that I have 740 experiment kill count. I don't really know why. I don't think I killed that many early game for cash and caskets. But uh, yeah, I, I, I've killed nearly a thousand experiments. Kind of funny. Opened up a bunch of crystal keys for the uh, key chest part of the event and I got a wyvern visage, which goes on to the elemental shield I want to say um yeah that's just I have the wyvern shield already ancient wyvern shield 750 rune coins that is actually a ridiculously good thing to get plus that's something off of the collection log it doesn't count as a box or okay it counts as an other that's pretty all right. Cool. And I'm actually surprisingly close to having a thousand crystal keys opened. Ooh, nice, lonely. Found a dragon impling. Let's see what we get from it. Interesting. So I scraped together 150 ghoul bones, which I think is what I need for the reward I'm going for. Grog, to you too, buddy. It's 250, I'm done. Got a sand mummy kill incoming while I'm doing this task scroll. It's totally worth the time. 1 in 128 for a piece of mystic sand, 1 in 100 for the mummy scroll. Just a very good chance to get good stuff, and we get a casket. That's about right. Alright, I completed my first elite task scroll. Whew. That is not what I expected the casket to look like. Um, got a bunch of prize boxes out of that. Which, you know, is pretty cool. Some rune coin items out of it, some skilling supplies. Uh, where did the prize boxes go? <clears throat> so let's pop those open first. Uh, that is a duplicate and not actually rune coins, even. Anglerfish. Can you fish anglerfish? Huh. Anyway, uh, that is ring coins. Let's pop it. No broadcasts. Derek body, three dragon plate legs, dragon boots. So 30, 92, over 100 ring coins out of that. Yikes. That was not very good, but there is a bright side. It got me to actually pop out uh, some task bottles. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and just do these. All right, so I got two tasks I could actually be bothered to do. So let's open the easy. Um, ooh, second pair of holy wraps. That's a hundred rune coins right there, plus a point mystery box. The sad thing is, that's probably actually better than the elite. And then the medium 
gets me uh, custom tribal masks, dragon halberd, strength amulet trimmed, which I already have, and a toy kite. So that's a thing. <laughs> um, I think I can score the custom tribal masks. Oh, that's two separate ones. I thought they came as like a set because there's a shield and a headgear piece. Um, so since I'm here, let's pop a spooky scroll and start opening the crystal chest. I like how the easy was basically better than the elite. That's just RNG though, I guess. Um, that stuff can be sold for close to elk value. So I should keep it, I guess. Oh! Someone just cleared the crystal chest um, collection log. That is quite a feat there. And again, I'm here, so I might as well. I'm not going to be home when the event ends. <laughs> so, it, it really doesn't matter that I'm rolling. Now look. Yeah, I'm nowhere near the 25 rolls needed to get the casket box and chest. Uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, ooh. I still have more master task bottles, and I there are clearly elite tasks I can complete. So let's open random. Uh, squirrel pet, no, no, no. Random. Treasonous ring, I no, no, no. Wait, treasonous ring is a. I thought that was the ring of suffering. I'm dumb. I could have done that. Bone sack, I have that. Seven steel, t or seven slayer tasks, I can hammer that out after I finish my Zolra task. High Alk 164 steel titan pouches. Hmm. I'm gonna have to make them, but I can do that easily. And the reason I'm counting the BCP as rune coins is because, yeah, it's better than the fighter torso defensively and it has one prayer over it. But honestly, I'd rather have the 500 rune coins because the defense doesn't really matter. It's the prayer that would matter. And 500 rune coins is way better than one prayer bonus. We actually have enough to exchange our C. It's been a while since I did this. I just like showing off the whole exchange. I am wearing the Ring of Greed. Oh, I should not have the wraps in the first inventory because you can only do one exchange of an item. I don't understand that rule, honestly. Especially with how arbitrary it is what items actually do stack. Case in point there. Right, so I've got those and I do need to keep Zamorak for eventually. With a Zamorak ring or ring of chaos or whatever the ring is actually called. Dun, 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 dun. Those are the big ticket items, of course. Um, almost forgot those two. And I actually forgot that. Exchange. Let's see. 
And then I can actually just Ring of Wealth the rest. Oh, I didn't need to. Sweet. And we get an Armadil crossbow. That's actually not very good. That's just more coins for the pile. Oh well. Still, it's nice to get another five grand done. Um, I don't know what I want next. Let's see. Just looking at the shop. Phoenix crossbow, two-handed. Hmm. Like, it's slow because it's a two-handed crossbow, and I lose out uh, on the totem. Um, I should just buy the Karazi Spear Enhancement before I forget. <laughs> Yeah, because I think the 15k thing I want to get is the Xanic, because that's a significant improvement over the Chaotic Crossbow. It's faster as well. So I'm going to buy... Oh, I need the RC in my inventory, of course. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy the Karazi Spear Enhancement, and uh, forget it, I'm going to go ahead and try and grind out the spear. And that's gonna go in here. Wow, I actually forgot about my pets even when I was calculating everything. <laughs> um, I have decided that once I get a blood phoenix, I'm just gonna coin fair and balanced because this is useless for me. Uh, let's see. Nothing else to really say. So I'm going to go work on Karazi. Working on a jungle kill right now. This is more stressful than the Jad. Because I actually stand to lose progress if I screw up even more than I have. Crap, friggin' Karazi Druids. Like, I appreciate them because they have low HP. And I think they can actually drop the spear! Oh my god! I got the thing I actually came here for. So. I'm gonna stuff it away, um, pick up some more food, and unnote the food, <sighs> finish the kill. And then, even if I die, I can use my POH to get back in. And easily just get it out. And there's our first jungle demon kill. Which gets me some essence implings, which could be good for in here. Or an essence impling, I guess. Which 
gets me some fire runes, which I do need for Flames of Zamorak if I want to mage in here. Which would not actually be the worst thing. Or the worst idea, at least. Ooh, even more cooked carambuans. All right. So that is super nice. So now, um, ooh, another Karazi Druid. Can I get another spear so that I can keep one in here? Uh, no. No, I can't. Uh, I actually already have a Zamorak staff. Now I have to wait. I'm going to meet you back out. Alright, so on top of getting the daily done as, like, a thing I can do, which, ooh, three bags of riches is pretty nice, we can upgrade the Karazi Sphere. So it gives plus 10 accuracy, plus 5 on all defenses, plus 30 strength, plus 5 prayer. Oh, man. <laughs> and causes venom on foes. That is... I think that's the last thing I need for Corp. And the last thing I absolutely needed for raids. Because I can kill all now with this. Um, even Tecton, I think, would, this would be good on. And then it's a spear, so it's really good on Corp, which means I can get a Spectral. So I can grind Cerberus for, you know, marginal upgrades. But, yeah, that is awesome. I think that's... Let me check. Yeah, I think I'm going to end things off there, because that's a sudden burst of progress right there. Um, so next time on Runex... Uh, I'm probably going to be trying raids with this new Karazi Spear. Um, probably going to try some Corp with the same thing. Uh, what is it that I want from Corp anyway, exactly? Da, 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 da. Corporal Beast. Corporeal Beast. So obviously I need a Spirit Shield. I think it's the Spectral that lets me grind Cerberus so that I can get the upgrades for my melee boots and mage boots. Um, I don't know what the others are actually good for, honestly. Um, so yeah, next time some raids, some corp, um, and hopefully lots and lots of rune coins so that I can go ahead and finally get, like, an elemental wand, so I don't have to worry about that, or, um, probably, more likely, the Xanic crossbow upgrade. Um, as always, my Twitch and my Let's Play channel are down in the description, as well as a Patreon. I'm actually going to be an affiliate on Twitch soon, so there are subs there. I don't know what I would make the emotes be, but we'll come to that when we come to that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.